All right, what's going on, everybody? This is the Junk Car Lady coming at you. And today we're going to talk about how to prepare your junk car in Raleigh, eight areas to check. Basically, when you're preparing to junk your car, right, you're all excited. You're like, all right, yeah, I'm ready to go ahead and get the cash in my hand. But there's some areas in your car you probably have forgot to look for, all right? And I'm going to go through it, eight, eight of these areas, showing you exactly what you want to look for so that you don't leave anything in there. We're talking about your personal items. We're talking about some important papers that you may need. And I, I ain't going to say most importantly, but definitely important, your money, okay? And yeah, you wouldn't believe some of the things that I found in cars, okay? So hopefully this video will be able to help you so that you guys can clean out the vehicle uh, that's going to be, you know, most beneficial to you. If you want to leave like $100 in there, you know, then hey, go ahead and donate the $100 to the junk car lady, you feel me? But if you want to make sure you get all your stuff, then this video is definitely for you, all right? Now, if you do find this helpful, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. Go ahead. Hit that. All right. And put down in the comments. Let me know other things that you want to hear about. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right. The first thing we're going to check is the inside of the door. Okay. So you're going to open up the doors real quick. Check inside. Right here you see a receipt. But sometimes people leave important papers in there. And sometimes they even leave some change, some money in there. Um, you know, maybe your ID. So you want to check inside the door. Keep in mind, this is the driver door, but you want to do the same thing on the passenger side, right? Now there's nothing in mind, but you want to check it and make sure you didn't leave anything in there. Okay. So that's the number one area inside the doors. Number two, let's go ahead and move on to the visor okay let's go to the visor now a lot of times people will leave things like the registration um in their driver's side visor sometimes even money you just want to lift that up get anything out that you need okay and make sure you have that with you okay wait a minute can i put this registration back up there i don't even know all right yeah, technical difficulties, whatever. But you want to do that on both sides, all right? Just check both sides to make sure that you didn't leave any important papers in there, okay? Now, let's move on to number three. Number three, you want to check the middle console, all right? And we're going to open up this middle console, okay? And we're just going to look in there. Now, of course, obviously, if you leave, like, your gum wrappers or whatever, nobody cares about your gum wrappers. But, once again, you want to check because, think about, it, like, if you have kids, you know, and maybe even yourself, but if you have kids or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes your kids will put things in there, you know, coins, you know, money, you know, um, even I've seen people put CDs in there, all, uh, eyeglasses. Now, the eyeglasses, they're not going to be of any value to this, to, to this scrap dealer, but to you, they are <laughs> because eyeglasses could cost you a bit of money. So you want to check in that area underneath as well. Now you see like the little trash in here, not worried about that, right? We're worried about you getting all the valuables out that you need. Okay. Now, along with that middle console, okay, uh, uh, glove, um, middle console area, we're also going to be looking at if you have like, you know, cup holders or ashtrays, we're going to put all that together. Okay. Now in this particular car, I don't even know if that's supposed to be an ashtray. I don't think... No, nah, that's not. That's not supposed to be an ashtray. So, I don't even know if this car has an ashtray. But, whatever. All right? But you see here, you got different things. Like, you got some money in there. So, you definitely want to check this area. Because a lot of times, it'll be closed out like this. Right? So, you don't even know what's in there. All right? So, you got some money in there. Grab that out. In this case, some business cards that I need. Right? So, you want to check in this area and get these things out that you need. Now, I have seen it where people will leave... Like, you see coins in here, and sometimes they get a little sticky, all that stuff. I've seen it where people will leave these things because they get stuck down, you know, in here. And they're like, man, I don't know how to get that shit up. <laughs> all right. Now, sometimes these things will um, have inserts, and they can come out, and you can um, actually take them out. And this one doesn't look like it has an insert. So, well, as a matter of fact, this one does have an insert. has, like, this little rubber piece. Look, little rubber piece. You can grab it like this, right? And then you can take the whole thing out, so that way you can kind of... Um, clean off your coins if you want to right take them with you but you want to check that area okay all right so let's move on to the fifth area we're going to look at behind the seats okay let's go to behind the seats so we're going to get out the car and we're going to look behind the seats okay all right and you see obviously there's a lot of things in this in this car but we ain't gonna worry about that we're gonna look behind the seat all right behind the seats sometimes believe it or not once again people will leave money in these areas right here so you just want to check like this little pouch and once again on both sides check that little pouch um the behind the seat area just to make sure that you didn't leave any important items 
or money. Notice I keep saying that. Like, people for real, for real, sometimes leave money in there. Now, to you, you may say, well, man, I don't care if I leave 10 cents or whatever. But to someone else, they may care that they leave 10 cents. All right? So at least you know what areas to check. All right, let's move on to the fifth area, the glove box. All right? You see we have a glove box over here. Now, this one doesn't have anything in it. All right? Um, there's nothing really kept in this glove box. But in your case, once again, you may have things like money throw it over there. Right? Especially like when you go to the store, you get your change, you're like, you know what, boom. If you don't put it in your cup holder, a lot of times you'll put it in your glove box. So you just want to check this area to make sure that you got all of your important papers out. Sometimes you'll have, um, you'll actually have titles to other vehicles that you own, right, that you forgot about. You're like, oh my gosh, the title to my other car that actually runs good or whatever the case may be, you'll leave in here. So take everything out of the glove box that you may need, all right, because the whole thing is, right, guys, once you um, sell the car, uh, you know, once you jump the car, you know, it's over for you, okay? It's over for you. Can't get nothing back. It's done, okay? So just get take the time to get this stuff out from the first time because once we process it, it's over for you. All right, and this is going to take us to number, where are we at? Number six, under the seats, okay? So you want to check, all right, underneath the seat area, okay? Just check underneath the seat area. And here there's not anything underneath the seat, but you can just move it back. Move the seat back. All right, this is no little like feel back. So that's probably why you're not none either. All right, but you want to make sure you don't leave anything important underneath the seat. And we're going to go around to the back side. Go around to the back side, and you can check underneath as well to make sure, once again, that you didn't leave any any money hasn't rolled underneath there any important papers like i said especially if you have passengers a lot like children sometimes it happens man they they drop things underneath there that you might need man you they might drop your keys underneath there you know your keys to a whole nother vehicle and you ain't even know it <laughs> all right so check underneath the seat all right and the last spot we're going to check actually inside the car now of course it should go without saying like if you have some stuff in your back seat you know that you want just take it out like i got this tool that i took out of my storage right i definitely wouldn't leave that in here but the point of the matter is what i want to get to is this little area right here all right this is like a cup holder slash i don't even know if like kids sit on this i don't even know okay all right but you see how it folds right now not all cars have this but some cars do you see how it folds so let's say you typically have passengers right they hold they um pull this down they're using the cup holder you know they have things that fall back here and they forget once again get your coins baby get your coins just check the area it's going to take us to our last area number eight and this is going to be our trunk all right and you see there's a whole bunch of stuff in here from the trunk okay so the idea is, like I said, it's not too major, like if you have things in there that you no longer want. I'm not saying just jump all your trash in there, because sometimes that can affect your price. But it could be old things that you really don't want, okay? All right, we're not too worried about that. But take the time to go through it, because there may be some things that you actually need, okay? Like in this case, let's say if you was like a, a do-it-yourself mechanic type deal, right? You know, you had a jack stand. That's what that is, jack stand, right? You're like, oh my goodness. Man, yo, them jack stands can cost you like 20 bucks. Right, so take it out. All right, here's just a random bag of things. But the point of the matter is, look back here. Look, I even got a basketball. Who wants to play basketball? And this thing been in here for a minute. Who gonna play basketball with me? Put down in the comments, y'all wanna play basketball with me? I ain't played in a minute. The ball might be flat. Look, if you ain't got no air pump for the basketball, then you can't even play. How about that? But anyway, check the trunk. All right, to get any of the items out that you may need. You know, before you junk your car. Once again, cause. Once the car gets picked up, it's over for you, man. So you'll be all mad that you don't have your basketball anymore. All right? So that's the last area that you want to check as far as prepping your car before you junk it in Raleigh. In Raleigh, and the eight areas to check, you'll be good to go. All right? And, of course, don't forget, guys, if you are in the Raleigh, North Carolina area and you're looking to junk your car, down below you see a phone number. You might see it actually scrolling across this video all right you can give a call in or a text and you'll be able to actually get a quote online okay go ahead or you could head over to our website at thejunkcarlady.com all right and that's if you're in the raleigh north carolina area and you want to go ahead and get a quote on junking your car and at the end of the day guys 
here at the Junk Car Lady. We're all about empowering and educating our fellow females out there and you gentlemen too, all right, in all things automotive, all right, and helping you save some money. So you definitely want to stay tuned to our channel, subscribe, hit the bell, ring the bell, baby. All right, so you can be alerted the very next time we put up some content because we're bringing it to you out of Raleigh, North Carolina, and hoping that you have a more prosperous day. All right, other than that, you already know, y'all. We out.